So there's this, this, this teacher, and every single day, we'll call him Yanko. This little boy, Yanko, comes late to school. Every single day, he's late to school. And he keeps getting punished. A dollar, loses recess. He keeps getting punished. Finally, the rabbi, the rebbe, he, he has pity on him. He has rachmanus on him. He's late every single day. So he calls him over. He says, Yanko, I don't understand. Every single day, I, you have to pay a class, you have to pay a penalty, and you lose recess. I feel very bad for you. Why are you always late? He says, Rebbe, I'll tell you the truth. I'm very sloppy. So, before I go to sleep at night, my shoes, are, my one shoe's in one room, my other shoe's in another room. I can't find my shirt, I can't find my tzitzes, I can't find my underwear, I can't find my pants. He says, I, 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 I just, by the time I find all my clothing, and my books, and my homework, and my papers, I, I, it, it takes me an hour and a half, two hours after I wake up to find everything, to get everything on here. I'm sorry, Rebbe, but I'm, I'm very sloppy. And, and, and I'm very absent-minded, and I can't find anything in the morning. Some of us understand what he's talking about. <laughs> anyway, so the Rebbe thinks, huh? You're blushing. I'm not blushing. Anyway, <laughs> my wife knows where everything is. I don't need to know where everything is. So, so, um, so, he, so, so the Rebbe thinks about, what should I do for this poor kid, right? What am I going to do for him? He says, I have a great idea. Every night, when you get into your bed, Right? right before you go to sleep I'm sure anyone that was a teacher in the, would think of the same idea take a pen, take a, piece of, take a piece of paper a notebook and write my shoe is in my mother's room my other shoe is in the bathroom my glasses is underneath the table right? my shirt is up there right, right, write down where everything is you're going to wake up in the morning you'll have a list from 1 to 15 you'll see, ok, there's my shoe boom, get my shoe oh, my other, ok, my glasses, ok, right? my fill and that and the kid said, wow, Rebbe, you're brilliant. It's a fantastic idea. It is a fantastic idea. Okay. Fine. So the next day, Rebbe figures the kid's going to show up on time. Usually the kid was a half an hour, 45 minutes late. Half an hour, 45 minutes, one hour, two hours, three hours. It's lunchtime. The kid didn't show up. So Rebbe's like, Rebbe's like, can't find the list? Very cute. No, but no, that's not what happened. Anyway, so even more brilliant. It's an absolutely brilliant story. It's such a deep story. It's unbelievable. Okay, so the Rebbe's like, you know what? I feel very bad. Look what I did to this poor kid. I don't know what he did. Let me go see what he did. So the Rebbe, lunchtime, drives to the kid's house. Knocks on the door. Mother opens the door and says, my uncle, I can't get him out of the house. He, he's, he's sitting by his bed. He's crying. He's like, he's crying. Why would he be crying? So he goes into the room, and this poor kid is sitting by a chair, right, by, looking at his bed, right up right by his bed, and his mom is crying. He's crying. The Rebbe walks over to him and says, Yanko, what's going on? You didn't come to school today. It's already lunchtime. You're crying. What's going on? Did you do what I told you to do? Did you write a list before you went to sleep? Says, yes, Rebbe. He says, so what happened? He says, look at my list, Rebbe. So he has 15 things on the list. So Rebbe sees, shoe, mommy's room, checked off. Other shoe, bathtub, checked off, right? He goes through one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twelve, everything's checked off, 13, checked off, 14, uh uh-oh, the last thing on the list is not checked off. What do you think the last thing on the list is? Anyone here have any idea? Nobody ever heard this story? This is brilliant. Huh? What do you think the last thing on the list is? Yanko in bed. <laughs> last thing he wrote, he wrote where everything, the Rebbe told him, before you go to sleep, right where everything is. So he wrote, my shoe is here, my dinner, and that, and he wrote, the last thing, where's everything? Yanko himself is in bed. And here he is, sitting a whole morning, Looking for Yankel in bed, and Yankel's not in bed. So he can't leave. Because on his list it says Yankel in bed. So he's sitting across from an empty bed. You see, you never heard this one. This is amazing. He's sitting across from an empty bed. He said, What am I gonna do? Yankel's not in the bed. I can't find Yankel. And he's running around. He can't find Yankel. It's on his list. That's the deepness. What's it? It's a marshal. Rabbi Galinsky wrote this. What's the marshal? It's a beautiful marshal. You can have everything on the list in order. 
everything in your life. My job, my children, my husband, whatever you have in life, my, my, my school, my clothing, I'm, I'm, I'm OCD, right? My clothing is piled up, everything is ready, everything's in the right place. But if number 15, if you can't find number 15, if you can't find yourself, Ayakoth said Hashem to Adam, where are you? You can have everything in the list, everything checked off. But if you can't find yourself, you're stuck. What a, what a, Rabbi Galinsky, what a, what a deep word. The end of the list, you gotta find Yaakov, you gotta find Deborah, you gotta find Miriam, whatever your name is. You can have everything on the list checked off. But if you don't know who you are, and you don't know where you are in life, you're totally lost. You're stuck looking at that bed going nowhere. Absolutely brilliant.